Hey people, it's Kako here, and this is a Samsung Galaxy A22. It's a new entry-level device from Samsung, which is selling for about 1,100 Ghana CD. This has some really nice features like a 5,000mAh battery, a 6.4-inch display, this is a Super AMOLED panel with 90Hz refresh rate. Not just that, this comes with a quad camera setup at the back, which we're going to explore very soon. This and other features we're going to discuss about the new Samsung Galaxy A22. Without taking much of your time, let's get to the video. Let's talk about the design for a minute. The new A22 has a very familiar look if you've been following entry-level devices. You'll notice this has most of the common features of devices in this price category. The chin, the dual drop camera, this is made up of a plastic frame and rail and also has a glass front. It comes with a glossy finish which as we all know doesn't do a really good job at hiding fingerprints. But the other color versions seem to handle fingerprints way better than the black if you ask me. These are the color options that come with a Samsung Galaxy A22. We have a black, a mint, a violet. Which of these is your favorite? I think I'm kind of liking the mint. It looks really good if you ask me. Let me know which one you're going to go for in the comment section below. Other features included in the design includes a USB-C port, a headphone jack, and a single firing speaker grill below. You also get a fingerprint sensor in the power button and the volume rocker on the right side. On the left side, you get a dual SIM card tray which has a dedicated memory card slot. These are some features that most people that are deciding to buy devices in this price category are really going to appreciate so I think it's really good. For the display, this is a 6.4 inches Infinity U display. Of course, it's a Super AMOLED panel with a 720p resolution and has a 90Hz refresh rate. This is what I have to say about the display. It's an AMOLED panel so the colors are rich and punchy. As what we are used to from AMOLED panels, the colors are very vibrant when you decide to choose the vivid mode and it's sharp. Screen brightness is not an issue either as you can easily use this outdoor with no problems. For the display, you get the ability to switch between a 60Hz and a 90Hz. The 90Hz is guaranteed to give you a much more smoother experience with a device so I would advise you always keep it at 90Hz. So for the display, I must say this is a really solid display. AMOLED panels are good, this is no exception. It has some amazing colors on here and it gets really bright even when you decide to use it outdoor. So for display, this is pretty dope. When it comes to the internals and software experience, this could be a make or a break area. But for the Samsung Galaxy A22, this feels okay to interact with. This comes with Android 11 out of the box with one UI Core 3.1, it has an octa-core CPU, 64GB of storage and 4GB of RAM. This is not the snappiest device but this can be easily sorted out by going to the developer options, finding the Windows animator scale and transition animator scale, also the animator duration scale. Turn all of these to 0.5x and this is going to improve upon the fluidity of this device. Animations are going to be way faster, way smoother. This is where I think you actually enjoy the 90Hz refresh rate that comes with this device. So make sure you go into developer mode and reduce these animation speeds. I love that this didn't come with a lot of pre-installed applications or bloatware and I highly recommend that you go for the 6GB RAM option and 128GB storage variant as that is not quite far off from the entry level variant. In general, performance is fairly good and as expected from an entry level device. And when it comes to gaming, Asphalt plays really well, you're going to have an enjoyable experience, PUBG plays at high HD settings and quite responsive. I was actually impressed on how this played really well on the Samsung Galaxy A22. This is the Geekbench score. And if you like to game a lot on your device, you'll be happy to know this comes with a 5000mAh battery and that is going to be solid for a day or two depending on your use case scenario. You also get a 15 watt charger in the box and takes about 2 hours to fully charge so take note of that. Now let's check out the cameras. 
For the cameras, we have a 48 megapixel main sensor which has optical image stabilization, which is really cool. I'm going to show you some footage. An 8 megapixel wide angle sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. During my course of usage, these are some footages obtained. <laughs> The main sensor performed really well with some good vibrant colors and dynamic range and comes with 10 times zoom capability. The wide angle pictures maintain good amount of details and are really good too. The OIS is what kind of steals the show. Videos are really stable and can be used for a lot of creative stuff. Okay guys, so this is me testing out the front selfie camera video on the Samsung Galaxy A22. This is the 13 megapixel main sensor and it shoots at 1080 30fps. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about the footage, the colors, how do I sound, how is everything going on here. Let's see the dynamic range and everything. So this is what you expect if you are vlogging on the Samsung Galaxy A22. Let's switch to the main sensor and see if it's going to get better or it's going to get worse or anything like that. Let's try that out. All right, this is me testing out the rear camera on the Samsung Galaxy A22. This is actually a 48 megapixel main sensor and it also shoots at 1080, 30 FPS. So what do you think about the footage? Is it any different from the selfie camera? Tell me what you think about it. The colors, skin tones, also how do I sound? Let me know what you think about the footage. Let's get interactive in the comment section down below. Other features worth mentioning include the side mounted fingerprint sensor which works really well and accurate. It also comes with a face ID but I always like me a fingerprint sensor. Okay, so in summary, what do I think about the new Samsung Galaxy A22? In general, for an entry level device, I don't have a lot of complaints here. I do wish this came with a stereo speaker setup because anytime I'm playing a game, I kind of end up blocking the single firing speaker found below. And I hope future updates are going to make this a tad bit faster because third party launches are what seem to work faster for me. In general, I like the fact that this comes with a 5000 mAh battery and also the optical image stabilization was really good. The pictures are really decent and this is really good. One UI in general works really well. So if you're deciding to pick one of these up, you're going to get about two to three years of software update. So that is really good. So if you're thinking about picking an entry level device or any device to support you right now, the Samsung Galaxy A22 is not going to break the bank and it's worth picking up. So let me know, what do you think about the Samsung Galaxy A22? Let's get interactive in the comment section. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave in the comment section your view, comments or anything like that as I'm always hanging out with you. Thank you for spending time with me and I'll see you in my next upload. Peace, I'm out.